Hey, I'm Tom Merritt from CNET.com, and welcome to Insider Secrets. Got an email from Kristen in Bristol, Virginia, who wrote, I recently started using a computer to write my diary on. Unfortunately, it's a computer everyone in the house can access. So I've started using a thumb drive to keep all my files on. This is great, but now I am worried about someone getting a hold of it. Is there a program out there where I can encrypt my files easily without installing anything on the computer? Okay, Kristen, I've got two options for you for encrypting files on a USB drive like this one on today's Insider Secret. Our first option is the easiest. It's a program called Remora USB Disk Guard. You can install it on the USB drive itself, where it will ask you to set up a password. When you're ready to encrypt the file, launch Remora. Choose to encrypt a file. The file is changed to encrypted. Now, if someone gets their dirty little hands on your diary, they won't be able to get at it unless they can guess the password. So don't choose something obvious. When you're ready to make the next entry, put the USB drive in the computer. Choose to unencrypt the file, enter your password. The file is unencrypted and ready for editing. Don't forget to re-encrypt it before you take the USB drive out. Remora's 128-bit encryption is good, but if you want the best, try TrueCrypt's AES-256 Blowfish 448-bit key. You can download and install TrueCrypt on the thumb drive just like with Remora. But now you're going to set up a container on the thumb drive. It's going to look just like a file when it's encrypted. But when you put in your password and unencrypt it, it'll act like a directory containing all your files. Insert the USB drive with TrueCrypt. Run TrueCrypt. Press Create Volume. Leave as Create Standard TrueCrypt Volume. You can select the whole device, but that won't let you run TrueCrypt from the USB drive. So select File. Come up with a name for your directory, press Next. Now, if you know your Kung Fu, you can customize the security. For Kristen's diary, though, we'll leave it as default. The program tells you how much space is available for the new volume. Enter a number lower than that amount and press Next. Now put in your password. Warning! Don't forget your password. Don't make it obvious, but remember, if you forget your password, you're SOL, and that's not an encryption algorithm. Press Format and the volume will be created. It will look just like a file on the USB drive. Now go back to TrueCrypt. Choose an unused drive letter. Press Select File, and browse to your newly created volume. Press Mount, enter your password, double-click on the drive, and now you can drag your diary file into this new directory. When you're done, press Dismount, and you can eject your USB drive. That's probably a lot more encryption than you need, but just to be on the safe side, we gave you some U.S. government top secret level security for your private diary thoughts. That's it for this edition of Insider Secrets. Stay secure.